service, it's my pleasure to be here with you all today to conduct the marriage ceremony of Anthony John Alan Rashid and Alexandra Margaret Gregson, <laughs> aka Tony and Alex. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> to guide them both as they, make, <laughs> as they make their marriage vows together. The bride and groom have already met Janice, she's our registrar and she's got all the hard work to do today. She will be recording everything in the register and writing out your certificate, which we'll present to you both at the end of the ceremony. But before we commence the formal marriage ceremony, I would like to explain the proceedings for those of you who have not attended a civil ceremony before. It is a short but formal ceremony with the bride and groom making two declarations. The first stating that they are free to marry each other, and the second, the contracting words, taking each other as husband and wife. And once the legal declarations have both been made, Tony and Alex will seal their marriage with the exchange of wedding rings. I must now tell you that this building in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage and you are all here to witness and take part in the joining of matrimony of Anthony John Allen Rashid and Alexandra Margaret Gregson. So I only said Sunday names on the best legal list. <laughs> and if any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage they must declare it now. Shows you guess well, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if she wants to stand with you, that's okay. Is she okay? Before we start the marriage ceremony, I do need to check I am marrying the right people to each other. So even though I've said your names, I'm sorry about this, but you're going to have to give me your full names again. Oh. <laughs> Tony, what is your full name? Anthony John Alan Rashid. <laughs> Anthony John Alan Rashid. <laughs> and Alex, what is your full name? <laughs> <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> Tony and Alex, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character 
of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. But more than that, marriage is intended to provide love and comfort which each should offer in times of joy and sorrow. It is a deep and lasting commitment which should not be entered into lightly. So Tony, do you take Alex to be your wife? Yes. You do? I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <I> do. <laughs> and Alex, do you take Tony to be your husband? I do. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who are able, would you please all stand? I am now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that there is no lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. And this is simply a few words to be said in turn after me and Tony, as we always start with bridegroom, I'm going to ask you to make your declaration first. So would you please repeat after me? I declare I declare that I know that I know of no legal reason for no legal reason why I, Anthony John Allen Rashid, as I, Anthony John Allen Rashid, may not be joined in marriage, may not be joined in marriage to Alexandra Margaret Gregson. To Alexandra Margaret Gregson. <laughs> okay, Alex, your turn. Please repeat after me. I declare, I declare that I know that I know of no legal reason of no legal reason why I Alexandra Margaret Gregson why I Alexandra Margaret Gregson may not be joined in marriage may not be joined in marriage to Anthony John Allen Rashid to Anthony John Allen Rashid to so Tony and Alex you have just both made a declaration stating that you are legally free to marry each other and a solemn moment has now arrived for Tony and Alex to take each other as husband and wife. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the hearts of two people who love, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Marriage is the blending of two people on the same path in life. This path will have many challenges along the way, and from this day, you face them together as a partnership built on trust and love. So I'm now going to invite you to embark upon this journey with each other by once more repeating the following words after me. So would you like to turn and face each other, please? Because you're saying these words to each other. And once more, Tony, it's your turn. You can hold hands if you like. The last time you'll be married tomorrow, you won't be doing that. We've done that all morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know I'm joking. Okay. Okay, Tony, you ready? Yeah. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, to witness Anthony that, John Allen Rashid. To witness that I, Anthony John Allen Rashid. Do take thee, Do take Alexandra thee. Margaret Gregson. Calm down. Alexandra Margaret Gregson. <laughs> to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. That's it, you can't wait to marry I know, <laughs> that's it. Okay, Alex, it's your turn. You sure about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? You've got a second to change your mind. No. 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 I'll tell you why in a minute, ladies and gentlemen, there is a reason. <laughs> Something you don't know about. <laughs> no, but you will when I tell you. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, once more, please, Alex. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Alexandra Margaret Gregson. To witness that I, Alexandra Margaret Gregson. Do take the Anthony John. Alan Rashid. Do you take thee, Anthony John, Alan Rashid. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Right. They are now going to say some additional vows to each other. Okay. Are you ready for this, you two? It's not mentioning any names, full names. So they have chosen to add additional vows to their marriage. So, Tony, please repeat after me, and you're still saying these words to Alex. 
I promise that I will always try to make our love and friendship last. I will promise to make our love and friendship last. I trust that our marriage will remain strong. I trust that our marriage will remain strong. And look to our future together with hope. And look to our future together with hope. Happiness. Happiness. And joy. And joy. May we treasure this day. May we treasure this day. And never allow anything to change. And now ever never allow anything to change. The feelings that we have for each other. The feelings that we have for each other. I promise that I will always try to make our love and friendship last. I oh. promise. You've said it oh. once, certainly. <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to repeat that now. Again. <coughs> I promise. I promise. That I will always try. That I will always try. To make our love and friendship last. That I will, to make our love and friendship last. I trust that our marriage will remain strong. I trust that our marriage will remain strong. And look to our future together with hope. And look to our future together with hope. Happiness and joy. Happiness and joy. May we treasure this day. May we treasure this day. And never allow anything to change. And never allow anything to change. The feelings that we have for each other. The feelings that we have for each other. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I told you that I would give <laughs> Alex a second to change her mind. <laughs> <laughs> you are wondering, aren't you? Simply because Tony can say I take you to be my lawful wedded wife until the cows come home. He'll never be married on a month of Sundays or ever. But as soon as the bride says I take you to be my lawful wedded husband, there's no going back. Because Janice can start writing in the register because now they are legally married. So would you like to kiss your wife? <laughs> <laughs> and that is the reason. <laughs> okay, so Tony and Alex, we've now come to that very special part of the ceremony where you will seal your marriage by the giving of wedding rings. And rings are objects of adornment. And whilst in a single lifetime we may have many of these. We have amongst them always the one which is most precious to us. And I'm now going to call somebody else who's precious to you both. Our Lord of the Rings today, ladies and gentlemen, is Harrison. Come on. Stand there, stand there. That's it. Just a little bit further back, Harrison. Perfect, perfect. Okay, Tony, would you like to take Ale uh, Alex's ring? Place it on the third finger of her left hand and hold the ring in place. Yes. Oh. Did it go on? Yeah. <laughs> a bit less today. That's, <laughs> That's it. Hold the ring in place and you're saying these words and you're saying them to Alex. Alex, I give you this ring. Alex, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Care for you. Care for you. And respect you. And respect you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Thank you. Okay, Alex, if you'd like to take Tony's wedding ring and place it on the third finger of his left hand. Left hand. Once more, hold the ring in place and say these words. Tony, I give you this ring. Tony, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Care for you. Care for you. And respect you. And respect you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And may these rings from this day forward be your most treasured adornment. And may the love they symbolise be, to the end of your days, your most precious possessions, along with these two. Okay. Thank you very much, Harrison. You did a very good job. Please me. Harrison yet because he's got a poem. So once more Harrison, take the stage to and front. read your poem. Into front mate. Shh. Just stand. Let him stand where we'll see him. Move over. Yeah, Do you want to go to the seats? <coughs> yeah. Go on. Go on. Okay, go on. Nice and loud. Okay, nice and loud. 
Marriage, marriage is caring and sharing, giving and forgiving, loving and being loved, walking hand in hand, talking heart to heart, to give and to take and to see through each other's eyes. Oh, that's lovely, Harrison. Do you want my job? <laughs> okay. Your wedding today is the fulfilment of one dream and the beginning of so many others. And I know that it is the hope of everyone here today that the love and friendship you two so obviously share continues throughout your marriage. May the two of you always be the answer to each other's questions, the gifts for each other's needs, and the reasons for each other's happiness. May the love you're feeling now grow deeper and stronger as you travel through all your tomorrows. So Alex and Tony, or Tony and Alex, <laughs> having made all the declarations required by law, you have both entered into a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family, your friends, your witnesses, who are all gathered here with you today. And it is now my very great pleasure to announce before them that you two are at last <laughs> husband and wife together. So, I'm Alex's brother, obviously there's not a lot of you know, age difference, <laughs> couple of years, couple of years, but I actually really, really want to be nice to her, because you know what, she looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Really, really. I've, I've got to say, when you called me 12 months ago and said, I want you to walk me down the aisle, I was honoured, I really was. And it really 
It upset me in a nice way, a positive way, because I was so proud to do it, and I will cherish it for many, many years. Honestly, I will. <laughs> now, there are some naughty sides to Alex, <laughs> which we can talk about. Now, I can't talk about too many naughty sides, because I've got to be nice to her, but there are some. And Lindsay, my beautiful wife down there, reminded me last night of when she first met Alex. <laughs> right. So she first met Alex 15 years ago. We're out in Liverpool. We turn up into this bar. And as we're walking up to this bar, Alex, unknown to Lindsay, Alex is in the window showing her arse. OK? I failed That was you. So Lindsay said, wow, look at that over there. I'm thinking, yeah, that's my sister. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to introduce you. So as we went into the bar, there's Alex. So, the interesting thing is, and Tony tells me this, you've not changed since, and I know you've not changed since. You still do it, which is great, and that's a credit to you, it really is. But on a serious note, I think... The windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at what you've achieved, you and Tony, fantastic, you've got two great kids, two wonderful kids. I'm a little bit concerned for Harrison. I did start him off on the route of Everton, you've changed him to Liverpool, that's wrong, that... Uncle Nobhead here, <laughs> he's changed him. I do actually think eventually he'll see the light and he will move across, and I hope he does. If he doesn't, he's not in our will, but I hopefully he will be there, he will be there, hopefully. So I think you, you and actually mum, can I say something about you, please, in a positive way, obviously. You should, you should be very proud. I am very proud. You should be so proud. You've got Alex. You've got Gemma, you've got the two Tonys, you've got me, you've got Lindsay. But you should be so proud of what you've done, seriously. And it's a credit to you that you have got Alex and Gemma and myself. I mean that in a nice way, but you're, it is good. So there's not a lot more to say, because I'm not the father of the bride. I am the brother of the bride. I am honoured to do this today. And I, I thank you so much for that. We are going to go to Portugal in about two months' time, which will be so messy, and I can't wait for it. It will be brilliant. So, guys, all I want to say is, can we all raise a glass to Alex and Tony on a fantastic day and a great venue, great occasion. We love you all. Right, I'm Tony. I'm the best man for the afternoon. And a surprise for me as well, Tony. Anthony, thank you for paying for Gemma and I to go to New York. That's so nice here. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. I appreciate that. Right, thanks everyone for coming today, day celebrations. Um, I've known Tony now, well, about 10 years. Yeah. Alex, you brought him to ours one day at a party. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever see him again, I've got to be honest. <laughs> you spent the night going on about lights and discos, <laughs> lasers, speakers. I swear to God, Thank God the gun cabinet was locked. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Eight years on, I've seen the light. And I've got to say, he's the most honest, hard-working guy and friend I've had for a long, long time. Um, <laughs> we have our moments, don't we? To say the least. We're more like a married couple, aren't we, Jim? Yeah. I'll go home a moment to you. He'll go home a moment to Alex. But you know what? It works well. Um, I'm wondering what I can get away with. <laughs> right. I tell you what, I'll just stick to one lot. Um, Tony has a shortcomings, as we all do, but one of your main ones is geography, <laughs> as you well know. Uh, <laughs> do you remember, Alex? We were in the airport, the four of us together. There was Alex. Gemma, Tony, myself, and we're stood there and we're looking at the boards and basically Tony looks up and he goes, oh, that's going first, isn't it? Like, what is it? Gilbertraw? We all sort of looked at each other and went, what's he going on about? And I, all of a sudden I got into, I said, do you mean Gibraltar? <laughs> and I was like, seriously? And that was, you were gone, weren't you? He got a cob on, didn't he, on the flight on the way back, actually, because we couldn't stop laughing about it. <laughs> Mark, one of our great entertainers on the table over on the back. 
was on holiday two weeks ago. He went to Bulgaria. Tony asked him where about in Spain that was. Uh, these aren't lies, are they, Mark? Mark, myself, Tony, sat on the plane together. Sadly, me between them two. I know I'm not the smallest, but Jesus Christ, look at them. Um, so we, we arrived in Alicante quite early, as we thought. It was quick, wasn't it? It was quick. He says, that was a quick flight, wasn't it? I went, yeah, it was, to be fair. But on the way to Benidorm, or Alicante, it's downhill. No. No, seriously, it's downhill. So we were half an hour quicker than we would have been, half an hour to 45 minutes. But on the way back, a tough hill, so we gained the time back. No way. Well, we couldn't even go in to discuss and the hour change in time. He was blown by then. What was that? You can't, can you, Tom? Just as well, really. Um, Tony has a bit of a, a weird obsession with midgets. <laughs> I thought, you know. Uh, so here he comes. Can you just welcome in? Here we go. <laughs> um, so apparently, we met this midget on the night out on the stag do. I've got photos of some. Apparently, this midget was off kick ass or whatever, anyway. Jackass, sorry. Off jackass. And we sat there. And we, Oh, I'm round the guy and all that. Can I pick him up? No, but you don't like that too many. You're not allowed to pick them up. He said, is he a real midget? No, it, yeah, he's in fancy dress. Only of a weekend. Seriously, of a weekend, he's six foot when he goes out. <laughs> Guys, I've cut quite a lot of this short. Um, all I'm going to do now... No, oh, one more, I've just remembered, Alex. Oh, yeah. Alex, you're not getting off that easy. Yeah, Press Dave and Sands, that was a good, good trip, wasn't it? Uh, wasn't that in Alan's caravan? Uh, Alan's caravan. Alan, did you not get the bill for that, Alan? No. Um, Dynarod. <laughs> Gemma. Tony. It wasn't a floater. I swear to God, I've never, I wanted to vomit, it was that bad. <laughs> so, she sat there absolutely stunning today and she looks gorgeous, but don't let that kid you. <laughs> I swear to God. And I've got a present for her, but this isn't for her. This is more for you guys who have to follow her into the toilet later on. We have VIP for you, Alex. <laughs> Especially for you, madam. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Gemma Payne. All right, guys, uh, just to reiterate what Tony said before, this is an amazing venue. We do a lot of work with these guys. Um, Kira, Andy, and especially Terry sat on the back. It's not just, they've not looked after us today. They look after us every time we come here to do a job, to be fair. And even when you guys aren't here, each and every one of your staff are as courteous and as helpful and polite as they can be. And we'd like to thank you all for that. If you can give them a round of applause, please, guys. And one last time, if you could all stand on your feet, please, guys. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put you back on, so. Right. Guys, we've all got people in our minds today. Sadly, we've all got loved ones that couldn't make it today for different reasons and everything else, and people who are not here no more. Um, I'd like you all to raise your glasses and keep them in mind as well. But Mr. and Mrs. Rashid, health, wealth, and happiness, guys. Here's to you. All the best. Yeah. Cheers, guys. I'm gonna pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. If things go wrong, we can knock it down. My three words have two meanings, but there's one thing on my mind. It's all for you. Mm. And it's dark in a cold December, but I got you to keep me warm. If you're broken, I'll mend you And I keep you sheltered from the storm That's raging on now I'm out of touch I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of sight I'm out of mind I'll do it all for you in time 
And out of all these things I've known I think I love you better now Now I'm gonna paint you by numbers And color you in If things go right, you can frame it And put you on a wall And it's so hard to say it But I've been it before Now I'll surrender up my heart And swap it for yours I'm out of touch, I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now My love There's only you in my life the only thing that's right My first love Your every breath that I take Your every step I make And I Love you loads. Wish you all the best, Tony. Welcome to the official Nut House. Now you are one of the members of the family, officially. Love you loads. And as we've always said, the four of us will always be together. Everybody sing, everybody dance. Lose yourself in wild romance. We're going to party, caramel, fiesta, forever. Come on and sing along. We're going to party, caramel, Forever, come on and sing along. Congratulations and thank you for a lovely day. All the best for the future.